Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. We have our weekend sales. My name is Chris. This is Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and on Instagram. And we've already been to the storage unit. We've pulled the sales. We were going to record there, but it was just, it was a busy day. They had a... Uh, some guys moving in, like in or two doors down from ours yeah, and they so. kind of had the whole hallway blocked and uh, we had our kids with us which i think chris got some footage of me just pulling so you'll yeah them and so i'll put that in here somewhere yeah. but we, <laughs> i tried to get a little bit of footage but just to show that we did that right <laughs> no um but we're gonna sh we figured we'd show you guys what we're shipping them in today which i think is a good trade-off so yeah. Yeah, so this is everything that sold over the weekend, and we actually have a second part, which yeah. we'll so get to. Half, pack them, and then do the other half. I did want to mention, I was just thinking, you know, the storage unit's been great. It's amazing. There's no downsides. And then I forgot to pull four items. <laughs> so I was just going to tell you guys about them. I forgot to pull them because these literally happened, like, between us leaving our house when I had printed all my labels and getting there. Right. Um, so I did take note of them and put them in my phone. But then with everything happening was, at the store, yeah. and just like not being able to go down the hallway, the kids yeah. and things like that, I just like totally forgot to look at my phone. So they're still there, but yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, thankfully the storage unit is right by my gym and these just came in this morning and we have two day shipping. So yeah. And some of them are Poshmark, which you technically have like seven days to ship. So. I was going to say more of a downside just yeah. for the YouTube side, yeah. right? Because, you know, with it being busy, that didn't really affect us being able to do our work no. there if we weren't recording. Okay. Uh, and, you know, like you have two day shipping mm -hmm. for eBay. So really it's kind of just. I'm just like a weird person that likes to ship as soon as possible. Yeah. As soon as I no. get the sale. So. Yeah, so the ones that sold, Chris will put up the screenshots. I sold a pair of Crocs like wedges. Um, these I had bought for $8.99 and sold for $24.56 plus shipping on eBay. Okay. A pair of Saludos. I don't find that brand a lot, but I feel like I just sold a pair last week. And then this pair sold for $31 with discount shipping on Posh. I bought them for $5.99. Just a cute pair of like striped espadrille flats. Okay. Um, some Tiva slide sandals, which I think I showed in one of my recent haul videos. Bought those for $7.99. They sold for $30 with discount shipping in about a week. So I, I think I said those usually sell fast. Those Sweet. did. Yeah. Um, and then the last one was a pair of Ultra Women's like running shoes. I bought for $12.99 and accepted a $35 offer on Posh. So about the doubling of my money on those. Cool. Let me put these here. Where yeah, I separate. <laughs> And, you know, the, the storage unit is kind of yeah. on the way back to town. We're going to make it back there sometime today. We'll still yeah. get this stuff out. <laughs> if not today, then early tomorrow. Sure. And, you know, you said those were a lot of Poshmark sales. So um, that's easy to ship. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to bring the boxes there mm -hmm. and, and pack them up there. So. Yep. All right. Put that away. And then yeah, I'll kind of show you how we're shipping as we go. Oh, I... Did I not put these in some sort of order? Oh, maybe this one I just didn't grab yet. I mean, you got oh, the labels on already. Those are for that pile, right? Yes, these are for <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put these in either, so those are those. Those are these. Okay. You, you see, I'm, I'm going to blame the coffee. <laughs> We've got a coffee. She's yes. only got a quarter of it gone now. So. And you can see the color of this coffee is not the color that it should be. Uh-oh. So it's, a <laughs> it's, a, it's a one of those days coffee, huh? Yeah. It actually tastes fine, but <laughs> when I when they handed it to me, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no, do I, do I ask for a remake? No. <laughs> All right, uh, sold these Ariat boots. I bought these for $8.99, sold them for $50 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent me. Uh, Poshmark, I usually do like a medium flat rate on something like this. Yeah, if you don't know Poshmark, you can use any of the priority mailbox, uh, padded flat rate, Tyvek mail, or anything that says priority mail. Yeah. Just don't use the priority express, which is yeah, like the, the blue. blue so anything priority you can use with Poshmark, which is awesome, makes it easy. Super easy. Um, so these Clark's slide sandals I had bought for $7.50, sold them on eBay for $28.66 plus shipping. Uh, those are under a pound, in which case I just do a normal poly mailer. Watermelons. So these are shipping hip. My favorite. <laughs> they do have a code the below. Um, the watermelons are from their summer collection. So yeah, any shoes that are under a pound, if I'm shipping first class, I always put them in a poly mailer to save on weight. Um, this is a rip skirt. So I've never heard of this brand. I only actually grabbed it because it was new at Tag. Hmm. And I was like, let me look it up. And I did. And these sell pretty close to retail. I think they retail for between 40 to 50. I sold this for 35 with discount shipping on Posh. 
I think I could have got closer to that 40 if I waited it out, but I paid $5.99 for it, so it's still around a $20 profit. Very happy with that. Sweet. And so yeah, like, this is under a pound, but it's posh, so I'm probably just gonna do like a tie like mail on that one. Notice I don't have padded flat rates. I have some in the closet. Yeah, we should have some in the closet, huh? Alright. All these Birkenstocks I just picked up last week and out of garage sale. I think they were in our recent haul. So I paid five. I accepted a $60 off on Posh. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah, that's really good. Um, those I actually am probably gonna do a regional, a, like a flat. We got the, the meatball. You stay there. <laughs> You'll get one after we're done, Bubba. <laughs> so yeah, like shoes that are pretty flat. I like sliding them into like flat boxes, so. Yeah. I'll just slide right in there. We do use a little bit of uh, brown paper, as you see over there, that roll. Um, to fill any kind of void yeah. and I'm kind of excited. We do have a new house that we're going to be moving into next month. Um, hopefully next month. Yeah. Sometime. <laughs> and we're like, I've got a lot of plans for a nice shipping area set up that where that thing's going to be off the ground. We've <laughs> just been trying to, you know, manhandle that thing every time we use it. It's yep. been a pain. <laughs> Another pair of Clark slide sandals. These ones I bought for $9.99, so for 23 plus ships, I'll probably just about doubling my money, maybe just like a $9 profit there. But again, under a pound. We'll do a mail -in. I like to do variety. Yeah. <laughs> the post office ladies always compliment my mailers, so that's fun. <laughs> All right, the Dansko XP Mary Janes, I bought for $6.50, sold for $32.76 plus ship on eBay. Um, I don't really want to go in the closet right now, but those are going to go out in a padded flat rate. Okay. Thankfully, because these are actually going to Hawaii, and if Ooh. I had to pay by the pound, it was going to be like close to $18. But oh, jeez. With a padded flat rate, it's $8.30, so yeah. Okay, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, these are new flats. I paid $7.99 for, sold for $30 plus shipping on eBay. Love that brand. The hiking boot shoes do a little bit better. Um, but yeah, those are under a pound. So, mail them. If you hear our children, they're just playing <laughs> video games in their room. <laughs> Uh, these are some kid size Keens, bought for eight, sold for 20 on Mercari. Uh, that was an offer I accepted. Yeah, Mercari, I, this weekend, that's pretty much the only work I did was like cross posting. Mm -hmm. um, well, and bagging some items. I try not to work on the weekends, but I wanted to get some stuff to Mercari because it's been a while. Yeah. And as soon as I started listing, some of my old stuff started selling. I know I only <laughs> say that, but it, it's funny nice. how that works, yeah. <laughs> Right. Um, these Patagonia shorts I had bought for $7.99, but like last year, um, they did have some flaws on them, which I didn't notice when I bought them. So for that reason and how long I've had them, I just accepted 15 on Posh, so I'm making 12, so I'm making like a three, four dollar profit. Yeah. Not hey. Great, but it's better than losing money after all that time, you know. Yeah. We'll do a Tyvek for Posh. All right. These have been listed forever as well, and this is another item that just sold on Mercari randomly after I started posting over there. So Zadig, Zadig, I don't know. That's the brand. <laughs> you should be able to see that on the Mercari yeah. listing there. Um, so these I had bought for $4 probably well over a year ago. Finally sold for 18 plus shipping. So okay. Very glad to see them go. So not a huge bolo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been in retails for a lot. I thought it was going to do well, just based on what I've heard other resellers talk about, but it didn't. I don't know if it's certain things, but... We need to come up with a term that's the opposite of a bolo. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like a, a no... A no... A no I don't know. A no bow? <laughs> <laughs> um, so these Crocs flats I had bought for $7.99, sold for $22. That was on Posh, so that was an offer I accepted. These have been listed a while, probably close to a year, so maybe about doubling my money, I think, at $22. So not amazing. We'll do a medium flat rate for those. These Nike shorts, really new with tags. These are like an older Nike. I bought these for five at a normal thrift and sold them for 28 with discount shipping on Tosh. Very nice. So, Tyler. Look at that good boy. <laughs> we don't have nothing don't for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was a random thing that Chris had bought from the bins a yeah. while back. 
I made a sale. <laughs> no. <laughs> I made a buy. <laughs> Kathy sold. I she actually s- it listed it. <laughs> you sold it out from under me. I was. I wanted to list that with part of my yeah, stuff. Yeah, I was like one day. I was like, I need like one more thing to list. Can I list this? Because <laughs> <Just laughs> yeah. it was like randomly in my space. So. So it's just a little uh, cassette holder holds a bunch of cassette tape. Yeah. I think when they're in their cases too, right? It should open on the side. There you go. Okay. Don't even know how to use it, huh? That ancient ancient technology. It's a cassette. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's so, a plastic thing. Yep. That probably cost a couple bucks back when it was made, and I sold it for fourteen seventy two plus shipping. So hey. not bad. Our bins cost that day was two oh eight. So two oh eight into fourteen seventy two. Not bad. Ship team. And we just randomly had this box that like fits it perfectly. Yeah. So we'll probably bubble wrap around that, and then just slap a mailer or whatever on the outside of this box. Oh yeah, so, that's yeah. the I got a laminator. Yeah. For the cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Abeo flip-flops. I had my cost of goods at zero. I don't know why. I think I got these at the bins. Um, I don't know. So if anything, you know, it wouldn't have been more than $2. I don't know why I typed zero, but I accepted a $20 offer on them, so I'm making them out $16. Okay. Um, we'll do a regional A flat on those. <laughs> She's like, if I'm in the way, they, they'll know I'm there. <laughs> um, another random item that's sold on Mercari that's been listed there a while. I Just some time and chew, which is Walmart. I only got these because they were at the bins, and they're like a linen blend pant, which I thought would do well for summer. And now that it's summer, they are selling. So $9 plus shipping, so not amazing, but I paid $1.54. So still like six or so dollars profit there. Cool. This is not shipping yet, but a viewer actually sent us some mailers, so. Oh, sweet. Some llamas. Yeah. Uh, this is a pair of Under Armour Kids sneakers I had bought for $7.99 and accepted a $25 offer on Posh. Medium flat feet. Okay, and lastly, for the first round, these are a pair of my son's old... I don't know how you say this. You'll see the screenshot. It's like Myco Leon or something. Okay. Um, but I buy these for my kids pretty much in every size. Uh, they wear them a couple times for holidays for cute pictures, and then I sell them. So they're almost always like, in like perfect shape when I sell them. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much I paid for them. I couldn't like find a receipt anywhere, but I sold them for 63 plus shipping. They retail for like 70 or so. So okay. that's like the most I would have spent if I bought them new, but I often buy them on like kid is in it. Right. So. Anyways, so, I'm so probably that pretty 50, close to breaking even. Yeah. yeah, fifty something dollars on that, which is awesome. And yeah, those are the cutest boots ever. <laughs> uh, those are going UPS, so I will probably find a box in our closet yeah. for those. Yeah. Just remember, UPS, you cannot use any of the USPS priority boxes. That's a no-no. <laughs> so let's get this first batch all packed up, and then we'll come back and show you guys the other half. All righty, got the first half packed up, ready to go. Got the second half all laid out. Reese, no. <laughs> He's like, you said when you're done. It was a, it was a false we're ending, bud. Done. We're done. Okay. Go lay down. Go lay down. He's a good boy. <laughs> Come on, Reese, bear. All right. So, what's going on with this second half here? Half. All right. I sold these Nike free runs were actually just like my personal shoes. Um, I had bought these off Facebook Marketplace a while back for 20, wore them a lot, sold them for 29 plus ship on eBay. So I'm making all my money back, probably plus a couple dollars. Cool. Um, do a shoe box on those. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then these Sketchers are sold on Poshmark, just like a women's black slip-on. I had paid twelve fifty for them, sold them for forty with discount shipping on Posh. Okay. Pretty good. We'll do a medium flat right? These vests I just listed maybe last week. I bought them for nine ninety nine, sold for forty seven with discount shipping on Posh. Sweet. Yeah. Had pretty good luck with Vask in yeah. the past. And those are Gore-Tex, so I think that helped their cause. Gotcha. Um, but it's hiking boot season. That's Do true. Our regional bee box for those. Oh, the old regional bee box. Um, these are some kids' Merrill. They're called like the Hydro Run. So kind of like a water shoe, but also you just wear them. Yeah. Anytime, pretty much. So I did pay seven ninety nine for these. Someone offered twenty. I think they're worth closer to twenty five to thirty, but I accepted twenty. 
just to move them. Yeah. Um, about a doubling of my money there. And I think we'll do a medium flat right on those. Are some cute little Sanook slide sandals. I bought for three and accepted a $15 offer, so about a $9 profit. Not too bad for some basic sandals. Let's do a padded flat rate on those. This is one of my son's old tank tops, just whistle and flute brand bananas. I bought it for 10, he wore it many times. I sold it for 14 with discount shipping. Yeah, on Poshmark, so making back, I think, all my money. $14.40. Wow. At least close to it, yeah. That's bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh was way funnier than my joke. <laughs> Let's do a little foldy <laughs> box on that. <laughs> All right, so these Crocs, these are the crop band, so like the thicker band, um, and they have like a gibbet, which is like a hockey and a puck. Hmm. I bought these for $7.99. They sold for $23 with discount shipping on Posh, so again, probably about doubling my money there or so. Those, I'll do a regional A, but like this one. Okay, this, again, they did not say they're a viewer, but now this time, I you have to be a viewer. So Bridget, oh. thank you so much. Uh, last weekend, she bought a huge bundle, like 150 something dollars, I think, maybe even more than that. And then this weekend, another bundle of these things that I'll show you for $171. Um, wow. For this bundle, I have about 37.06 total into the item. So thank you, Bridget. Bridget, yes. <laughs> so what did Bridget get? She got these, the cute little Crocs I found at the garage sale over the weekend. Um, some born cute little ankle booties. A pair of men's Asics running shorts. A pair of men's Under Armour golf shorts. Some little Care Bears. These, oh, a double pack yeah. of Care Bear? Plushies and a Magic Maryland sleep suit. So, All right. thank you so much, Bridget. Bridget, oh my goodness, thank you so much for all of the amazing support. We do appreciate yes. it very much. So, I don't think those are going to fit in the large mailing box. I'll, I'll find a box for those that we have of our own. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, these little Kitchacos I had bought for $3, sold for $18 plus ship on Mercari. Those are under a pound. We'll do a mailer. These are a pair of men's just black slip-on sketchers. Bought for $10.99. Sold for $24.56 plus shipping on eBay. Sweet. So I'm going to do a shoe box. And then these are some Timberland. Just like a leather Oxford. I had bought for $10.99. Sold for $40.96 plus shipping on eBay. Shoe box. A pair of women's chacos, just like a nice black. Uh, I just paid twenty dollars for these. They were like in perfect shape, like really nice. And mm. I feel like the black ones do better. So they sold for fifty nine with discount shipping. So I more than doubled my twenty. So I'm very nice. happy with that. Oh, I think I'll do a regional A flat box on those. A pair of Nike free ones, and I actually bought these on Facebook Marketplace, like a local porch pickup type oh. thing. Well, it was an early porch pickup. I had to ring the doorbell, and she gave them to me. <laughs> but they were listed as women's nine and a half, which is my size. These are my favorite shoes. I needed a new pair. They're men's nine and a half, so I didn't like. Oh you know, yeah. I wasn't gonna like check them and things like that. I didn't even realize till I got home. Either way, twenty dollars was a great deal. You know, I wasn't gonna be going back and be like, hey, these are men's nine and a half. Right. As a reseller anyways, so I was like, I knew I could sell these for at least 40. Actually, I got 65, 56 plus shipping, so I'm making probably close to $40 profit. Okay. Um, you know, she just lived a few miles away. Yeah. So it was no big deal. So did she say they were men's nine and a half no, or women's? No, well, the listing said they were women's. Oh, I see. Which I is see. why I went to get them. I see, okay. Yeah, so anyhow, <laughs> uh, those are going FedEx. So those are going the eBay authentication or whatnot. So I do have to find a box for those. Okay. Even if you don't really list it as a FedEx shipping, if it goes eBay through... eBay automatically switches your label. Yeah, there, so. which I know can be a pain in the butt. <laughs> I know, because the FedEx isn't really close by. Like, we have a postal annex, which takes FedEx. I don't like going there because, I don't know, I always... I don't like getting a receipt at our normal post office and UPS stores, but, yeah. like, at FedEx, 
at least at the postal annex by our house, I don't trust them. So I always <laughs> like wait for the receipt. Yeah. Um, and they're always have a long line and it's very hot in their store. So <laughs> it's not my favorite. I might go to the real FedEx store today. Anyhow, <laughs> I sold this. The brand is 9.8. I didn't buy this based on brand. I actually bought this for myself, just like a little jacket, but mm -hmm. I didn't like it. So I listed it. I got this at the bins in Vegas when we just went. Um, I have my cost of goods at zero because I was keeping it for myself. But yeah. Sold for $12 with discount shipping, so I'm making like seven. If you want to put a cost of goods on it, I probably paid like a buck or two. Yeah. So, not horrible. Um, the baiting a box or a mail. I'll just do a regional A flat on that. And lastly, a pair of nailed, like uh, Mary Jane. These are missing their insoles, which I noted. I bought them for $5.99, also on our way to Vegas. Like, we just stopped at a Goodwill in Grand Junction, Colorado. So I got these for $5.99, so for $23, plus shipping. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Those under a pound, so going in a mailer. Watermelon mailer. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna pack this stuff up off camera so that we can get it off to the post office. It is a Monday and we have a lot of documents to sign and, and agencies to call and all this kind of stuff. So we're gonna get going on that and that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Yeah, thanks and for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. We do appreciate you so much. Thanks for the support and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.